day four here on our mountain painting. And today we're just gonna continue building forward in our scene with some shadow and light. So I'm gonna get busy with some shadow areas first. You can see I've already added in some more mountains since I last filmed, but I'm gonna show you how to approach this area here, which I want it to look like some sloping rocks with some snow fields. So first, we're gonna put in, as we always do, shadow areas. And I'm using a brush, it's probably about an inch wide, flat, nice blade. And that will give me the shape I need and allow me to move pretty quick. So I'm just gonna fill in these shadows here and here. I kinda want this to be a cliff with snow. Again, I'm constantly adding some of the sky color in my shadow, but I want it to be lighter. And then we'll come here and we'll give it a nice big shadowy area. Again, I'll break that up with some of my charismatic sky. That's the actual bare color I'm using. I, I like it because it really looks like natural sky. And then I'm gonna have it look kinda like these cliffs are coming down. So I'm just pulling in some of that sky color, letting it mix, do its thing. Go back in here into my palette. This cliff going. I'm liking that. This is going to come down in here close to where I want to put the trees. So this will be a nice contrast with the trees, the highlights of the trees. This is all about light and shadow. And I think I'll throw some trees in here. All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush. And then I'm going to go for the lighter, kind of a tiny bluish rock color and this should go pretty quick again i always say that but that's the goal here is these are just techniques to do quick yet realistic effective scenics and this is exactly what i do when i'm painting a mural well, usually I'm using a, a bigger brush than this, but again, I'm starting out with my shadow. Then I usually bring in my mid-tones. And that's gonna have to come down. And then after my mid-tones, I work in my highlights. And I usually do like a, a highlight and then I come back in with an even lighter highlight. But I don't wanna over mix and make it look muddy. That's never a good look. And you can see just by me throwing in this first highlight color, it's starting to take shape. And I like 
like that when I get close to the edge, how that kind of mixes in, if it's still wet. I'm doing this in my garage, so it's pretty warm here. I'm just outside Phoenix, so you can imagine don't have AC in here. So my paint dries really fast. Okay, now I'm going to go straight for the sky color. And I'm going to throw that in. Give me some nice ambient light on my rock faces. Mix that with a little bit of white. that everywhere I want it to look like there's a, a flat slab, a, a plane. Gives me a little bit added depth. Then I try not to overwork. Be spontaneous, let it do its thing. And when I say let it do its thing, you put a stroke down and sometimes you'll see, hey, that blended really cool with the layer below it. Or you may be in a situation where oh, I don't like that, then you just paint over that. But again, this, this technique, this method works really well throwing in your darkest and your mediums, and then your lights. Come back in here with, it's gonna give us a little more pinky look. Starting to look really nice. It's giving us the illusion of the contour. The mountain sweeps down, you got the rocks coming up to the mountain. And although I plan this out in my head, when you start painting, sometimes I just see something. After you do a stroke, that's like, oh, wow, that looks cool. I'm kind of going to go with that and veer a little bit from your plan. And that's okay. Especially with the scenic, because scenics can be whatever. All right. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to keep all these videos to about 10 minutes. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel, Rich Marks, and you can see the full length. I kind of, I cut these down a little bit. Um, but just trying to keep them short, short and sweet. Give you an idea, a quick idea, kind of how I do these. Of course, I go back and I, I put in some more details off camera. But not a whole lot. I'm kind of staying true to what you see here while I'm filming. Hopefully this helps. Um, you can try this at home on, on board, on canvas. I'm just using latex paints. Just experiment. All right, so there you go. This is the foreground in front of the mountains. I've gotten a little bit darker with my blue. Um, staying true to my sky ambient light and just trying to make it look like the contour of the land. So anyway, this is it for day four. Uh, tomorrow, we'll finish out these rocks, and then we'll start putting the trees in the foreground. So we'll see you next time.